Well, hello there everyone. Welcome to another video. I have been waiting to do this for about two months, almost two months. I ordered this part back in April, actually the first week of April, and it's taken until now to finally get it. I've only just got it yesterday. So what are we doing to the poor Subi? Well, it's getting riced out because we're putting a giant wing on it, chassis mounted, it's gonna be wild. This is gonna be very interesting to say the least <laughs> A lot of you might find this really interesting and a lot of you might hate this So I guess we'll see which side you fall on anyway My table's a mess, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. So this is gonna replace the crash beam I think these are the stands supporting rods and plates and the actual deck is right here So the hardest part about this is probably gonna be cutting the bumper, which is not that hard So that's pretty much the game plan we just have to pull the bumper off and then replace that crash beam, cut the two holes in the bumper, and then just mount the wing. This is gonna look very interesting, I cannot wait. So I guess, let's just start. Taking this pre- <sighs> can't even talk. Taking this crash bar out is actually the biggest pain ever. So I did a little cutting, not necessary, don't do that. Um, I was just kind of getting sick of this thing. I was just trying to see if there was another way to take it off. But basically this side's loose. I took off the bolts. There are three holding it onto the frame, which is, that's yeah, pretty rusty. I need to actually fix this. Anyways. Uh, three bolts, I think on both sides. I'm pretty sure there's only three on this side too, not four. What's happened here on this side, let me show you. First of all, doused in PB blaster. Second of all, that nut is broken on the inside. And this nut is broken on the inside. So two of these, I'm hoping this one doesn't matter. Uh, this bolt is officially out of the game. So when we throw in the new bar, we're only going to be able to use two. Which should be okay, assuming that that third one doesn't break. Um, I'm really hoping not. But assuming that one makes it out, we can use two. So three on that side, two on this side. It should be fine. I mean, it's just a wing. It's just a, it's, it's a big spoiler. So um, it shouldn't matter if there's only two holding it on. That should be plenty strong enough. It is quite annoying though, so unfortunately, that's just how it happened. Here we go, we're just playing the waiting game now. I'm just letting that PB Blaster really soak in. I really want to make sure that second bolt doesn't break, because I, I would like to have two. If I do have to have one, I, I guess I will just deal with it, but I really want at least two. I feel like it's, it's a lot going to be a lot stronger that way. major pain but it got there so all the broken stuff it's these little nuts welds on what is these little weld nuts on the inside that keep breaking so as an example this one fully rusted and broken that's why it came off because you can see this side pretty good shape this side really rusted so that's why you can see that that was not going to come out. That all, it's, it's locked on. So that was gonna break, so I'm not really surprised. What I originally thought is that all the, the welded, or the weld nuts are in here, not actually on the crash bar. Um, they're on the crash bar, so I don't know what to do from here. Because it's not really like I can just take these off and then put them back in. Uh, yeah, the, these, I, I don't really know what to do with these, but I'm going to take out the bar and then see what's up. Oh, well, that's interesting. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I can play in there. Something tells me that this isn't quite right, but from what I saw in the pictures, this looks like it's right behind the bumper at least um, because we have two holes here 
a smiley face, and then one hole down here. So I assume this is the right orientation, but it just kind of looks a bit off. Um, especially because it doesn't really all the, go all the way inside the frame rails. And also the fact that I'm not sure how I'm supposed to put bolts in there. Because I there's no threaded bit in there, so I assume that I'm, I'd have to put nuts and bolts in there, but I don't know about that. <laughs> so I don't know, I, I'll have to see what to do here because i found no instructions no instructions were included with the uh the brace or the, the wing why did i say brace so battle arrow if you're watching um this is a super dope wing kit super nice well built and everything put instructions in though that would be that would help a lot it might cost a little bit more to include instructions but trust me it'll be really really appreciated by all of us or maybe you just forgot to put it in mind in which case totally fine i'll play around with it a little bit and see if i can make it look right because this is a bit odd So, um, the car is done. Here it is. This is a giant wing. This is, this is, I don't even know how to describe this. So, I have one of these in. I need to put the other in as well. I don't have bolts for it though. I kind of ran out. So, I'm going to have to probably run to the hardware store, get another nut and bolt set, two of each, so I can put one up here one down there and get the other brace in here and then just put that small screw through here and tighten it up so it's not it's finished but it's not finished but i don't know i feel like this car is going to get a lot of hate for this i really like this this is super cool because i've never done anything like it before these are the time attack they also have the boomerang ones which are similar to this but they have the little extra section that goes down I wasn't such a fan of those. I, I did prefer the time attack look. I think it just looks cleaner. I have this on the highest setting, so the fourth down here and the fourth down here as well. So yeah, that's that's that. She has left a little bit of a mess though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to clean up because yeah. And I'm one exhaust hanger down. Cause that one I had to slice off that bolt and I can't really put it back on because I cut up the the exhaust hanger mounts as well so that's not going to work out. If you made it to the end, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, go ahead, leave a like, comment below, subscribe to the channel if you are new. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.